These are balls, often called moment tensors. They tell you what kind of faulting caused the earthquake, and today I will teach you how to read them, because while most of you answered my quiz correctly, if this video blows up, I'm sure most people know nothing about these balls. Here's how you do it. You draw arrows away from the corner on the shaded side, and on the blank side, you draw arrows towards the corner. And would you look at that? It looks like a sort of strike-slip motion when viewed from above. And we can confirm this because I stole this from the United States Geological Survey's website. Here it is. Left lateral north-south strike-slip fault or right lateral east-west strike-slip fault. If you're wondering what on earth is left lateral or right lateral, it basically just means in which direction is the rock across the fault from you moving. So, in a nutshell, if the colored part is in the middle, it's reverse or truss faulting. If the blank part is in the middle, it's normal faulting. If there are quadrants, it's a strike-slip fault. Think of it like this. The blue part is the part moving away from the center of the ball, aka getting uplifted. Sometimes you get earthquakes where there are considerable amounts of both vertical and horizontal movement. We call these oblique events. However, even with the moment tensors, you still get two possibilities. Granted, they are the same kind of mechanism, but the orientation of the fault is completely different. For that, you need information from other sources, such as shake maps and surveys. Take the 2018 Palo earthquake. The shake map clearly shows that it's a left lateral strike fault on a north-south orienting fault. I could get into the science behind it, but it's complicated. I know how it works, but animating that would take way too long, so I will skip that for now. Okay, quiz time. Try to answer what kind of faulting is it. And comment your score in the comment section. And with that, thanks for watching.